welcome back to my channel. Um, I had so much fun doing these um, couple of napkin pages that I'm going to have to do some more. Um, I was about to tidy up my room ready to go away and I thought no I'll just do one more. Just do one more because it's so much fun. So I've picked out this napkin a because it's it's quite a pretty napkin. I quite like the birds, the toucans and everything. Also thought it'd be quite hard to blend in. So what am I going to do with this? I think, let me get a smallish brush. Let's just remove that for now. Put that there. I want to try, I don't know how, I don't want too much water. I want to try and get this bit of pineapple, if I can, because there's pineapple there without a bottom and I'm wondering if I can attach that. Oops, I need to drop that in my tea. That won't do. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to remove some of this bulk around here. And this could be a complete disaster. I have no idea how this will, will go. But again, if you don't try, you never learn anything, do you? Right, let's take that away. Oops, again, nearly went in my tea. That's no good. <laughs> it's going to happen, guys. I can feel it. It's one of those days. Right, let's go up here. And take that bit off. Um, I kind of want to keep those flowers, I think, but... I think I'll just maybe take that. I don't want it to have too many sort of corners and straight edges. So let's just take that like that and see what we can do with that. Maybe we could, maybe we could take out a little chunk of that greenery there. Try and keep the pineapple because I've now got a pineapple bottom waiting for it. Let's see if we can get rid of that bit. There, it's not quite such a like a a square napkin. So let's bring in our page. Let's get some matte medium. I'm just going to squirt it on. See what happens. I'm going to cover the, but I don't know what that black bit is. Don't want that anyway. I am going to cover the page in matte medium anyway because I don't know what what I'm going to use to colour around the outside yet, so let's try this right very carefully, put the brush down, kind of want that sort of over the middle of it I think, let's see what happens if we carefully put that down there. Ooh, where am I dipping? Nowhere. <laughs> I had a dip panic there. I nearly stuck it in the gesso, then I nearly stuck it in my tea. Then I nearly stuck it in the water. I forgot, it is not out. There we go, so I'm just going to go over this napkin gently, gently. A little bit more. On here. I thought this might be a bit of a challenge to blend in and make look part of a page. Right, let's have that bit of pineapple. And just try and... There we go. Blend that in a bit more. Whether or not it remains at the end is another, another question. Right, so we need to let this dry. And then we've got to think about how we're going to integrate everything. Right, this is dry. What 
I need to do is um, kind of blend in. Luckily, this is quite a similar colour. And I'm just going to use my finger because I get a good feel for what I'm doing. Certainly around here. I could use a brush, you don't have to have a um have your finger on it. Could get a brush, you says it might be quicker. Uh, let's try this one. Fingers are good for blending, but I think we just want to cover some of this for now. I'm not going to worry too much about what it looks like because I'm going to cover it with um, other things around the outside. We'll just get some colour on it for now. This is just acrylic paint I'm using on here. And we use gel medium to put the um, the napkin down. I'll try and speed this up a little bit. want to um, do that. Right, I've got a different colour blue here. I don't know if not this will be what this will do. So we can a bit too dark maybe, but it might be what we need just to, to blend it in a little bit. Go fingers for here. Don't really want that bird covered a bit. So this is the danger of me using my fingers. I'm so clumsy. I'll just. over now I'm not bothered about going over most things but um, the birds are the, the focal I kind of wanted to keep them clear where's my water yes it is time to tidy up this desk when you can't see what you're looking for that's a bit of water there let's see if I can clean up his little face a bit that's a bit better. Oh, yes, it was until I just put paint straight on top of him. Oh, Stephanie, you are a menace. Let's try one more time. I think that's probably about as, as good as we're going to get him now I've done that. Right, this is probably all dried while I was faffing around. Well, I'm not so keen on this bit at the top here, not quite sure what happened there, but... in with a bit more of that first colour.
I don't want it to look too dark and that other blue is a little bit dark. Now I'm hoping to cover most of this blue on the outside so it won't be the end of the world. A little bit of that colour in there so it doesn't look like I've just gone around the outside, if you know what I mean. I'm just trying to add a little bit to the, there, to the inside as well. Right, let me clean up a little bit. Right, I've pulled out a stencil. It's not the best stencil in the world, but I thought maybe we could put some greenery around the outside. I've got a couple of greens. And I've also got some uh, modelling paste or um, texture paste, which I may or may not use as well. I don't know. I just thought a couple of greens and see what happens. I just thought we'd see see what it's like with just um, is it just the stencil and paint? And if we need to add a bit of texture, we could do that on top, couldn't we? So. I don't know why I started over this side because I feel that that is going to be right where I put my hand in it. Never mind. Let's see what we've got. Honestly, I, my room is terrible and it's a massive. Oh, literally, the only. I'm not saying the only reason I'm doing this. The reason I'm doing this is because I was going to clean my room and I, I didn't want to clean my room. And I thought, oh, I'll just do another one of these napkin things. So, oops. Put a bit of that colour in it. Does that help? Or, as I said, these are not the best stencils in the world, but oh, not too shabby. Um, I don't really want to get the end of the stencil in. Do that for now and then um, where is that green I want some more of that green here and I can't let go of the stencil not too shabby and I don't want to ruin the pineapple let's put one there I might have to dry these before I come in because I'm worried that the stencil is going to um, ruin what I've done and I'll put it if I put it on top I might have to do it in layers let's have something there though we'll do what we can while we can I think actually by doing it with the sponge I'm getting quite a bit of texture so maybe I won't need to use the texture paste. I don't want to make this album too bulky because it does make it difficult then to add um, add to it. So let's try up here. Definitely liking this green better than the other but I do like a bit of a combo so. See what we've got going on there. Out you come. There. See, it's already looking a bit more like it's part of the whole, the whole deal. I think I'm going to dry that, and then we'll perhaps do some more. Right, I have dried that. I've mixed up another green over here, and I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll be honest. I don't want to try. Maybe the bigger stencil or the little one. I just don't know. Let's, I'm just going to try with what we've got on here for now. A 
add in some little bits around the edge. Let's try. Can't honestly see what I'm doing up there, so I'm just gonna have to hope that works. Yeah, not too bad. Right, I think I might try with some of this brighter green and just go in with Hope that it doesn't ruin it. Perhaps could have cleaned my stencil between. Um, Colors, but do you know what? I don't say this very often. I actually quite like this. I think it's working quite well. I don't want to overdo it, so I might stop there. Right, I'm going to clean up my stencil, clean up some bits. I don't think I'm going to put texture paste on, I don't think it needs it. And I'm going to come back with something else. Right, I think I'm just going to go around the edge a little with some black soot. Just to frame it a little. not ruining the one underneath just think it finishes it off there we go oops can't find the that's it I couldn't find which way around it went there we go. Now I'm going to, you'll see why, why I did the flowers now. They are quite, hopefully quite similar to that. So I'm just going to put some of these flowers that we made or that I made up here. Be careful because they are not um, stuck. All the layers are not stuck properly. So I'm probably going to have to press them down for a little while. Not 100% sure how many of these I will need. These ones that I put dimension on are not sticking to everyone. The flat ones are fine. And I'll do the same down this corner. Hopefully, sort of integrating it. I quite like, I quite like how this napkin thing turned out. One there. Oops, now you drop that one. Something like that anyway. Hopefully not too shabby. Right. I don't want to put any highlights on the leaves. I might. Uh, what have I done with my pencil case? See what we can do with these without putting our 
Is that making it worse? Hopefully not. Just giving it a little bit more definition. I don't have to do every leaf, but just. Uh, I think I will do. I won't do every one, I don't think, but I will do some. She says doing everyone. <laughs> Like that, I think I'll do this one. And do I want to do those paler green ones or not? I don't, I don't know. I think it kind of adds something. Perhaps could have done that before I put the uh, flowers on, but I don't think it really matters. It's not. Um, not even doing all of them anyway on the little ones. Yeah, I think that helps. Right, I haven't finished. There's two things I want to do. One, I'm hoping won't ruin it. And two, uh, will be fine, but I need to leave the book open once I've done it. The first thing I'm going to do is add a few white splashes. Because I think it just integrates the, um, the whole thing, if you know what I mean, because you know, let's face it, we have just shoved a napkin on there and put some paint around the outside and just to try and integrate it. I'm going to try and put, I think I just put white if, um, if I can. I don't know if this will work. I don't want loads of But then it makes it look more homogenous, like it was like one whole piece, not some bits stuck together. Oops. Oh, well, he's got a splash in his eye now. No worries. I don't think I can rectify that. This poor old bird's taken a bit of a beating, hasn't it? His head. Oh, now it looks like he's crying. Oh. Poor old thing. Right, now I'm just going to go and see where we've got pink here and the odd bit of pink in the centre of the flowers. I'm going to go in with some Nouveau drops. If I can do it without sticking my hand in the paint, I'm just going to put some in the centre of each of the flowers and then I'm just going to call that done. But I've got to leave this to dry now so that otherwise if I shut the page, we'll have a Nouveau mess. 
but hoping that will just add to it. And what we could do, we could just to integrate it a little more, we could pop some in these ones as well. And then it all looks like it's one thing. I'm quite happy with that and I think I'm going to call that done. I'm not going to put any um, words on this one, just going to leave it as it is. I hope you enjoyed that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and well and um, I will be back again soon. Bye for now.